Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make some DIY soap. So what you're going to need is some soap. I'm using clear glycerin soap. You're going to need a mold, but I will talk more about the molds later. Uh, this one I made out of silicone mold putty. And then you're going to need a spoon to stir the soap and some kind of scent, which is optional. I'm using this one in the scent Sunset like Kiwi by the brand Art Minds. You're going to need some kind of bowl. I'm using a paper bowl and some kind of colorant. You can use food coloring, soap dye, but I'm using pearl eggs, which is safe to use in soap, so do not worry about that. Um, and they look really, really pretty. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the soap and don't mind the other colors inside of there. Yeah, experiments. <laughs> but you're gonna cut the soap into smaller pieces. That way it's easier to melt in the microwave. So once you've melted it, you wanna add your colorant and I'm gonna mix it. This is in the Pearl X color Aztec Gold. Don't use a paper bowl like I did with the design because it's, you can see there the leaf on the design thing. It started to chip so it kind of got in the soap. The, brown specks. I forgot to add the scent so I'm adding the scent now and I'm just stirring it and I'm using this fish mold that I got in a candy kit um, but it worked really well so I will show you guys that later and I'm also using this biscuit mold also in like a bath bomb kit. So the Oreo one didn't turn out the way I wanted it to so what I try to do is take the Pearl X powder and kind of dust it on the mold before I add the soap. So as you can see, the one on the left is the one where I dusted the mold and the one on the right is the one where I didn't dust it. So you can kind of tell the difference, but they both didn't turn out the way I expected. Uh, however, the fish one turned out really, really nice. I was really happy with it. And I think it's because the mold is kind of shiny, as you can see there, compared to the Oreo mold, which is kind of matte, I guess you can say. So what I would definitely recommend you do is use a shinier mold if you have one and that will turn out really, really nice. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can kind of see the difference there. Um, the biscuit one kind of turned into a fail, so you can just remelt it, re-microwave it, and use it in a mold again. Uh, cleanup is really easy. You can just peel off the soap really easily, and then it'll come off really <laughs> easy. Um, so here I'm just making a grape soap. So I'm using some purple pearlescent or pearl X powders, and I'm putting it in a grape mold, again, from a sticker kit or something. Um, I found this really weird grape vine mold, so I'm using the Prolex color Spring Green and I'm putting that into a... putting that into soap. And then I'm going to mix that together and then I'm going to put it where the vine is. Um, before I finished filling up the vine, I added some of the grapes into it, that way the green color doesn't go into the grape section of the mold. And um, I'm adding the purple color soap inside. And then I'm gonna finish up filling the grape vine. And here's what the soap turned out looking like. It turned out really, really nice. I really loved it. I should have cut off the excess before I filmed this clip, but I forgot. But it looks really, really nice. It kind of broke apart, so I had to piece it together, but yeah. So here I'm making some snow cone soap, which was inspired by So Craftastic's video. So I'm cutting up clear glycerin soap. And I didn't have a paper cup like she did, so I used this plastic cup and um, I'm adding some of that extra or excess or leftover, I guess you can say, green soap. And as you can see here, as I'm packing the uh, cup with some of the clear glycerin soap, some of the green soap kind of spilled out. So just be careful because the soap is gonna be really hot. So just let it cool down first, I guess you can say. Sorry, my words are just out of the place today. But yeah, so that's what it turned out looking like. Sorry, my words are so like, jumbly today. Um, so here I'm adding the clear glycerin soap cubes into the actual colored soap and this turned out really really nice. So um, yeah and then after that I just packed it onto the cup <laughs> and then um, it turned out really nice. I really liked it. Um, so I made a few different colors. I made three colors. So I made a orange one, a green one, and a purple one and you will see that here. Um, so here's the orange one, the purple one, and the green one and here is all of them together. So again, cleanup is really easy, just peel off the soap and it's really easy. So if you have any extra soap, you can just put it in a Ziploc bag or a container and just store it. And the next time you wanna make soap, you can just microwave that down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This took me a while to make, believe it or not, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys make soap and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.